everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. Today I'm excited to show you how you're going to be able to work offline with your Cricut on the new Cricut Design Space for Desktop on the Great Maker Show and Tell. So you all know how much I love crafting with my Cricut cutting machines, right? And one of the great things about them is the free design software for them called Cricut Design Space. Well, for the longest time, this software was only available in a web browser or mobile app, which meant you always had to have internet access. But now you can download it as an application for your Mac or Windows desktop or laptop, and that means that soon you can use it offline and whether or not you have internet access. This is huge, especially for anyone who travels or lives without reliable internet. And it means you're gonna be able to use your Cricut anytime and, and anywhere. And even if you do have reliable internet access most of the time, like I do, the desktop version is faster and more stable. So everything just works better. With design space for desktop, you are going to be less likely to crash and you won't need to deal with all of those up, uh, plug-in updates because it's gonna auto update for you. And once the application is out of beta, it's going to allow you to design while you're offline. Of course, if you're a fan of the web-based or mobile versions of Design Space, they're not going away, they're not going anywhere, and there are no plans to remove them. And your Cricut Access subscription, if you have one, transfers over with you, it stays with you really, as do your purchases and all that good stuff. Now, what I think I love most about Design Space for desktop is how it looks identical to what we're already using with the browser-based versions on our desktops and laptops. And that means it's just download and play. Yay! So let me walk you through the download process on both a PC and a Mac, and I'm gonna show you around the desktop. Your first step is to download the Design Space for Desktop application, if you haven't already. There are a lot of places to download it, but as the application is still in beta at the time I'm making this video, it may change a bit depending on when you watch this. So to make sure that you can always find the download location, just go to jennifermaker.com slash design space download. Once there, you'll see a screen similar to this one. Click the download button to download the installer. If you're using Chrome like I am, you'll see the download appear at the bottom of your window. Just click open to open it once the download is finished. Now I'm gonna show you the installation process first on a Mac, then on a PC. Remember, you can use a desktop or laptop, Mac or Windows operating system. Once you open the download, you'll be prompted to move the Design Space application to your Applications folder. Just click and drag it over to your Applications folder and then let go of the mouse once it's over the folder. If you receive a notice that you already have an older item by the same name, it's okay to click Replace. Sometimes the older browser plugin download had the same name and nothing will be hurt by replacing the file. Now double click on the Applications folder for the green C icon called Cricut Design Space and double click it. It's right here, so we're gonna double click that. The first time that you open the application, you may be informed that your application was downloaded from the internet. This is totally fine because we know who Cricut is. Just click open to continue. Once Design Space opens, it may look for an update automatically, and if it finds one, it will apply it for you. And you'll then need to sign into Design Space using the same login that you use for your browser-based version or mobile app version. If you can't remember it, use the forgot link here and then check your email address associated with your account. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in right now. and then click sign in. Awesome. Go ahead and click the privacy policy accept button if you see that. And you'll also see this set your machine mode, uh, most likely if you do that, go ahead and click next and you're gonna wanna choose the machine that you own. If you have both, just choose one or the other. Choose the one that you're planning to use next. You can always change it later. Right now I have my Explore plugged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Explore. But again, don't worry, because this is easy to change later. 
And now that you're logged in, you'll see that Design Space looks pretty much identical to the browser-based version if you've been using it. You can do all the same things you've always been able to do on your desktop or laptop. Now, one more important thing to do is to add the Design Space icon to your dock. Just look for the big green C in your dock. If you're on a desktop, you can just hold down your right mouse button, but if you're on your laptop, you wanna hold down the control key and then click it. And you'll get a little contextual menu and you wanna to go to options and choose keep in dock. And now that icon will stay in your dock and you can always open it from right here and it's really easy to find. Now let me show you how to install this really quickly on a Windows desktop or laptop computer. So again, you want to go to jennifermaker.com slash design space download, and that will take you right to whatever the current download URL is. Click on the download button right there in the center, and it's going to download. Once it's finished downloading, you can either click the little up arrow and choose open, or you can just double click on that download. And uh, it will install onto your PC for you. When it's all done, a splash screen appears just like this. It'll check for any updates and update it if it needs to. And then you'll need to sign in with the same Cricut ID that you use for your browser-based and or mobile-based versions of Cricut Design Space. So type that in and put in your password. If you've forgotten what it is, just click that forgot link and then check the email associated with your account. You got everything in, click sign in. And if you see this updated privacy policy notification, go ahead and click accept. Next, you'll be asked to set your machine mode. Go ahead and click next and then choose whichever machine you have. If you have both, choose the one that you wanna use next. You can always change this later. And you'll see it looks pretty much the same as what you're used to. Now, one more thing before you go, you wanna add your icon to your taskbar. So just click on the icon down here at the bottom and choose pin to taskbar. And that's it, you've got it installed on your Windows desktop or laptop. All right, so let's go back to Design Space for Desktop here on my Mac. Right now, we're looking at the beta version of the desktop software, which means we have to have internet access for it to work. But once we're out of beta, you'll be able to use the application without internet. When you're offline, a bright offline label appears at the top of your screen so you know whether you're offline or online. If you see that offline label, that means you're offline. Otherwise, you're connected to the internet. Other things that will be different between online and offline are when you go to save a project for the first time, that choice you make is how all of your future projects will save as well, unless you change this in your settings later on. And if you need to change it later on, just go to settings and choose a new option under saving for offline. Now when looking at your projects, you'll see an icon if your project is available offline. Click on the three dots below the icon and you'll have the option to edit, delete, or remove offline copy. Here are a few important notes. You can move online projects to offline, but only one at a time. You cannot mass save all of your stuff. You have to do it one by one uh, currently. If you are editing projects while offline and the online version is not synced up to the offline version, then the next time you go online, a pop-up will appear and it'll ask you to select a version to keep. This will only happen when you try to open a project that is out of sync. If you are on a desktop app and on any other screen besides the canvas, then as soon as you lose internet access, the application will automatically go to My Projects. The latest version of the desktop app will always update anytime you open online and any images you have in a project from Cricut Access will expire after 30 days if you do not go online at all during those 30 days, even if you have monthly access. This is not a big deal, so long as you're sure to go online at least once every 30 days, so be sure to set a reminder. And you cannot upload anything new while you're offline. And this means even from your desktop or images within Design Space. So be sure to save all images you want in a project or canvas before heading offline. Now I keep a guide to Cricut Design Space for Desktop over on my blog at jennifermaker.com slash design space for desktop. I encourage you to come over there because anytime anyone ever asks me a question, I find the answer and I put it in there. So I've got a nice long list of questions 
all of the tips and tricks, everything that you need to make design space for desktops sing for you. Now, wasn't that easy? I really love how simple it is to download and get started crafting with design space. I know from my own experience as both an application and web app developer that having a desktop application is so much more stable. It really improves the overall experience and it's great. Now I am betting that you've got more questions and I've got answers. I have a whole list of answers to frequently asked questions already prepared for you all about design space for desktop over on my blog at jennifermaker.com slash design space for desktop. Be sure to check there for um, any answers because chances are good I've already found an answer to your questions. Cricut also has a ton of help documents on the desktop version and I've linked all of their awesome help articles over in that post as well. But if you find you have questions that I haven't answered yet, just leave your question below or come on over to our amazing Cricut group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. This is also where I post announcements about design space and all that awesome stuff. And that's it for today. Remember, if you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time.